What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, The Animation. We are back with a pudding deck profile, and we're going to do some gameplay as well. Obviously, we've got our pudding leader right here, which is you may uh, turn the top two life cards face up, and you ramp our rest of the Don. Now, you need to have, your, obviously, your two life cards at the top face down to be able to use this ability. Uh, but, yeah, it's absolutely really good. Works when you want to do your ramp. We've got this Sanji in here. He's 2K counter. He's also searchable off the pudding searcher. Uh, so, he's handy, and you can play him to board, and... In all honesty, I don't use him as a blocker. I use him as a swinger, uh, generally. If he's on board, sometimes I will use him to block if they're doing a 5k swing. Uh, otherwise, yeah, he's just a 6k attacker with a 2k counter. Then we have the Katakuri. Now, this works out fantastic with your leader ability because you flip your lives over. Uh, then you play Katakuri out, you can flip one of them back over, and you can ramp an active Don. We've got the Nine Mum here, which allows you on play to trash a card from hand and minus a Don. You can add a life, and then you can place, if you choose, up to a six cost from your opponent's side to the top or bottom of their life face up. We got the Viola. Uh, it's just a standard blocker, but it does allow you to either turn all your life cards face down or sort your opponent's life. Now, if you're playing against yellow, it's stupid good because you can use it to get rid of um, like a zero cost from the bottom of their life. We got the Shirohoshi, good against black. Play it out. If they KO it by effects, it gives you a life. It's a no-brainer. Plus, it's got counter. We've got the Pudding Searcher, which is good. We play quite a few Big Mum Pirates. There's, we do whiff here and there, but it allows you to search for your Big Mums. It allows you to search for your Sanjis. Definitely good. We've got the 10-drop Mum, which is stupid good. Uh, actually, probably the best Big Mum Pirate card you can get because you on play, they trash a life, you gain a life. No questions asked. Beige, again, another staple for yellow decks. Basically, you want to get this from life. Um, and even if you get it from life and you haven't got anything of theirs to freeze, you've got a 2k counter to hand. So, pretty good. we got two 9-drop Yamatos in here. The reason why I've got these in here is for board removal, um, especially for late game. Uh, it does come in handy. So, if, say you're on one life and your opponent's on four, and they drop a Momonosuke blocker, or any 5 cost for that matter, you can just KO it. Uh, the Hyori, uh, this is another good card to have, 2k counter, uh, and also lets you manipulate your life, which is handy, because if you want to put a 0 cost at the bottom, you can. And then we got the Frankie, again, another good one to trigger, but not only that, he is a 2k counter, uh, but the trigger ability is why you have this in the deck. If you're one or less lives, you play at the board and you draw a card. The Rush Ace, again, another staple for a lot of yellow decks now. Basically, if you're at two or less life, play this out. Gain a life, get Rush. So if you're at two, you can gain a life, get to three, you don't get Rush. But if you're at two, you can choose not to gain the life. And if you're going for game, you can, uh, yeah, just swing, Rush, great. The New Gate, uh, this is thanks to Trent, a guy I play with. He mentioned to put this in the deck. Basically, you add your top card from your deck to your life, then you pick up all your life, you rearrange it the way you want it, and then put one card back to the top of your deck. So, you can manipulate your life. Then you've got the zero cost counter here, which is just another staple for yellow decks. You want to get this triggered last life, and you can trash one card and get a life back. Absolutely stupid. But let's go see if we can get some games won. Oh, I have not faced the VV deck in ages. Uh, we're going to go first, of course. Um, do I keep this? No, we're gonna we're gonna mull again, and it's nearly the same. <laughs> and we'll end our turn because there's nothing we can do. We got no Katakuri. We do have the new gate, which is nice. Let's just go a six k swing. Use card action. Considering we haven't got a Katakuri, we're going to Viola and turn our life face down. Ah, uh, then we'll end our turn. Now Vivi has the uh, option where she can give anything rush, can't she? Yeah, she, she can give any character rush, which which sucks. Okay. Sixth on, we are going to... Deploy Newgate. Oh, yes, that to the top of my... That's what we wanted to see. Uh, I'll let the two counters go there. And then we'll finish sorting life. We prefer to have the searches earlier. So, let's just swing... And use card action. Show that we got two pudding searches. Nothing to be scared of. Would have been nice if there was a zero cost in there. And we'll end our turn. <sighs> I 
5k. Uh, what am I going to do next turn? I'll be on 9. I'm going to 9 mum next turn, so. Do I take this? No. No blocker. Give something rush. Come on. Oh, you didn't give it. You got the war pool. Okay, I can't do anything with that, but I can put it at the bottom of their life. So let's do this. 7k into ulti. Then let's 9 mum. Return it on. Let's get rid of the Shirahoshi. Gain a life and put that to the bottom of their life. And we'll end our turn. I didn't swing with my leader. I didn't want to. <laughs> oh, they dropped the Rayleigh out and they made my, my mum and my white beard less for the attacks. Interesting. It doesn't really matter though. Because I'm just going to 10 mum anyway. Let's swing five. And then let's deploy this. Gain a life, trash an opponent's life. A Borsalino. Nice, nice. And then we'll end our turn. We're going to build board. I don't want to swing while they're weaker. All right. No trigger ability. Oh! Stop my mum, huh? Stop my mum. Interesting. Well, Rayleigh's only a... Only an 8k. Should I swing? Or should I drop the ace this turn? I can get myself back up to 6 lives. Let's swing 9 into 8. I kind of want that Rayleigh gone. So we're not going to do... Interesting, okay. We've emptied out their hand quite a lot. We've got quite a bit of counter too. There's nothing I really care about playing, so let's attach all Don. And let's get rid of that Rayleigh. We've still got a big body on board, even if they do get rid of these two, but I can counter out a sum. They've played a blocker, okay. Numble. Draw two cards, then return two cards from your hand to the top of the bottom of your deck, okay. If they put them on top sent to the top. <coughs> Another boa. You're freezing her again. Go, swing eight into, or nine into my new gate. Okay. All right, I see what you're doing here. Um, look, I've got to get rid of two cards anyway, so let's do this. Resolve attack. And we'll take that. Katakuri. Come on, heart of the cards. Damn it, I didn't want to see another Katakuri. Waste the last two cards in your hand. Okay, I thought they would have got rid of the Numbel, if I'm being honest. Let's just do 6k here. Try and get rid of a 2k counter from their hand. We did! Nice. And then we're going to deploy, actually cancel... We'll deploy the Sanji. Just in case they swing big, I can save one of my big bodies. This is an interesting matchup. VV is definitely an interesting deck to play. Resolve attack, no trigger. Do they have another boa? That's the question. Oh, they're going straight for life. I'll take it. I will take it. And the Borsalino is out. What does that do again? On play, return one character. It cost a four. Yeah, I didn't have anything. <laughs> I didn't have anything, so it didn't matter. Okay, what are we going to do here? Let's swing 12 into 8. Drop your Numble. Come on. Oh, they didn't drop their Numble. Let's swing 7 into 5. Let's swing 5. We're not going to use card action. Let's swing nine. And then let's just deploy the ace and gain a life and end our turn. They're not in a great situation. <laughs> oh, okay. They got rid of... I just noticed they got rid of my... Um, no blocker. Frankie. They got rid of my uh, ace. And look, I got another one. 
probably could have gone for game here. Hmm. Okay, they got out of that. We back up the four lives. They aren't in a great position. And we'll end our turn. They've got two swingers and they can use rush on something. But I've got 5k counter in hand. They can have my blocker. 12 into 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. Resolve attack. There we go. They've given it a rush. Resolve attack. You're dead this turn anyway. Do I just clear their board? <laughs> Let's clear their board. Actually, cancel. Oh, they had enough. Oh well, they can't beat us anyway. They've got no cards in hand and one swinger. <laughs> I feel so bad. Ants and my pants. Ants in my pants. Ants in my pants. Resolve attack. No trigger. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll just use Yori. Do they have a 2K? They don't. <laughs> GG's answer, my fans, and thank you for not quitting. Thank you for not quitting, but that was fun. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely good. And he ended up with two Waffles in hand. We beat a VV deck. So we, we beat an army deck and a VV deck, and yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that match. Let's see if we can find someone else. Oh, we found a, a blue-purple crocodile. How is this match going to go? Do we keep what we got? We keep it. We keep it. We, we keep this. And we get to go first. Deploy. Oh, we've had a 10 mum. Let's go. Return cards to deck. This is perfect. This is the sort of uh, hand you want to start with. I know it doesn't look ideal, but because we're going to ramp, it's actually perfect for what we need. In all honesty, now I'd love to find a um, a low-cost blocker, which we didn't find. But that, that's all right. We can work with this. Use card action. We get our ramp on next then we cat a curry. Are we gonna end our turn? Nothing we can do here. Now swing, 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 batter, batter, swing, batter, batter. They got the uh, Drake 2k. Yep. Resolve attack. No trigger ability. We needed that to be able to use our ramping so we can drop the 10 mum the next turn. Now we cat a curry, use card action, then we do this, and we attack six card action and look at that next turn we're on 10 don 10 mum next turn 10 mum next turn all right they dropped that drake they played out understandable they might have a red rock so the big mum will die but they loaded their board pretty quick they have loaded their board pretty quick look at that they're fully loaded full board is it enough though uh let's take it Oh, two ten mums. All right, let's go seven into five. Let's go five into five. They saved it, but they emptied their hand. And now let's ten mum gain a life, trash an opponent's life, and let's end our turn. Oh, they use that. The searcher, what did they search for? See, this, this croc deck, this leader ability confuses the absolute crap out of me. <laughs> oh, they're going big with bones, nine into seven. Um, no. 
resolve attack. I'll take this one. No trigger effect. I don't care if they want to swing just the regular five. Okay, what are we going to do here? Do we go for board? Or do we just go for game? Deploy, gain a life, trash a life. Seven. What do they have? And 12. Can they get out of it? Can they get out of it? They got out of it. Damn. Okay. Fair. Fair. We got rid of something off board. I don't know. See, this is the thing with this uh, crocodile build. I don't know how it works. I don't play it. I do not play it. So it confuses the absolute shit, of, shit out of me. Oh, they plussed everything. They plussed everything. I've got a lot of counter in hand, so I'm not too fast, but they plussed everything. Dazbones is at nine. Um, yeah, you can have him now. I have two big mums on board. I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't, don't care at all. Uh, we give you one. One K. Um, we'll give you one. And we'll give you Actually, no, let's take it. Oh, no trigger effect. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. Twelve. H how does... See, I don't understand how that works. Twelve. They, like, trash one of their board cards. Oh, we got it. We got it. GG's, though. Ants in my pants. Hey, we just played Ants in my pants. This was a different build. <laughs> they were playing Vivi, and then they are playing Crocodile. Um, yeah, GG. <laughs> Back to main menu. Uh, that's how you beat a Crocodile. I still don't understand how the deck works. Uh, if someone would let me know in the comments, that would be fantastic. The age-old question. Can a pudding deck beat a Nami deck? Um, oh. I, I want to keep it because we have the Katakuri in hand. So, I actually, you know what? I will keep it. And we get to go first, which is good. So, we're going to end our turn here because we've got nothing else to do. I'm only keeping this because we have the Katakuri. Um, we need that Katakuri. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the... Actually, no cancel. Let's do it this way. Let's attack... Use card action. I realize the category is going to work and I'm not going to be able to double down. But we were able to get rid of a card from their hand nice and early and ramp it on. So we're at four. I don't know how this matchup is going to work. So I'm actually curious myself to see if we can get this matchup to work. I, there's no point dropping the Shirahoshi or the Viola. Although I can drop the Viola to use um, the ability again. Let's use card action. And end our turn. We don't want to swing. We don't want to let them use their resources to uh, mill more cards. Oh, we've got the Pudding Searcher now, though. We will use that. We'll deploy that. We can take Katakuri, which will allow us to ramp that last on. Let's return cards to deck. Actually, I can't even do that. <laughs> I can't even do that, unless I play the Viola out. Flip all cards face down. Swing 5k, use card action, and then we've got all done anyway. All our done is active. That was so dumb. That was so, so dumb. They're going to take this. They haven't got enough resources. Surely not. Not with three done. They got the... Oh, I forgot they had bloody blockers. Alright, we got 10 mum. Ah... Uh, cancel. Let's just swing seven. Damn it. They bounce back. And we can end our turn. Our aces are no good. We can't get a rush out of any of them. We just need more ten mums. The more ten mums we get, the better. Which, this is not an ideal situation. Uh, no ten mums here. 
Let's attack. Seven K swing with pudding. <coughs> we need to see ten mums. If we don't see ten mums, we're screwed. The good thing about seven, if you swing at an army with sevens and nines, they've got to discard at least two, if not three cards. So we're going to go seven and we're going to go nine here. And then we're going to go twelve. They get a trigger. They did get a trigger. They bounce Viola back. I don't actually care. You can bounce her back all you want. And we got rid of that other blocker. Come on, can we do it? Playing against Nami is super hard. You need swings ASAP. If you don't have them, you're actually pretty screwed. So let's save that in case we don't get another mum. We need that extra swing. Draw two trash two. Okay. Oh, yes, we got another ten mum. All right, let's attack seven. They bounce the Kaya back again. <laughs> that bloody Kaya. And then deploy, gain one, trash one. Come on, we need one more big mum. One more big mum and we win. They're down to 20 cards. We need to end it next turn. Ideally, they need to play blockers right here. They really do. They Sanji P left. Oh, look at them. They're, they're clearing their deck out. All right, let's swing 12. And let's swing 22. <laughs> we've got them. They can't get out of a 22k swing. They have not got enough Don active. So we beat Nami. Yay! We beat Nami. Woohoo! We win. Um, yeah, well, look, Pudding can beat Nami. Uh, definitely good. Definitely good. We'll take it. We'll take it every day of the week. We've done it in five minutes. If this was locals, I'd have plenty of time to go out and have a cigarette. <laughs> um, all right, well, pudding works.